Item number SCP-230 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-230 is kept in a secure room in sight beep. The room must have a controlled ventilation system so that air exiting the room can be properly filtered before it re-enters the regular ventilation system of the complex. SCP-230 is to be given anything he requests that does not violate standard procedures for SCP containment. The door is said to automatically lock every time it closes and can only be opened from outside the room. Personnel entering SCP-230's room must wear a full hazmat suit with its own oxygen supply. Personnel exposed to the air in SCP-230 cell or who come in physical contact with SCP-230 or any of SCP-230's bodily fluid must be contained and held for observation for no less than one month. Personnel still exhibiting symptoms from SCP-230 after one month are to be terminated. If personnel are cleared by on-site staff after a month, they are then to be transferred and forbidden contact with SCP-230. Due to the recent events, subjects that have been exposed and cleared by staff are required to undergo regular psychological examinations. If upon exam the personnel exhibits any of the traits shown in document 230-4436B, the personnel is to be terminated. Note, subject has made several escape attempts utilizing personnel exposed to SCP-230. This represents a low threat due to the fact that exposed personnel are usually impaired. However, personnel will become violent in order to stay in SCP-230's presence. Description SCP-230 is a male Caucasian with a lean build and gaunt appearance. SCP-230 is 185 centimeters tall, 68.04 kilograms, and appears to be in his early 30s. He wears bright clothing and prefers the colors pink and yellow. SCP-230 is a very cheerful individual who appears to be incapable of negative emotions. SCP-230 secretes a chemical similar in composition to heroin from his pores. The chemical has been named compound beep. Once secreted from his pores, it evaporates immediately and contaminates the air around SCP-230. Compound beep seems to be effective in as little as 30 parts per million in gaseous form. Compound beep causes extreme euphoria in subjects. Analysis in Class D personnel under the effects of SCP-230 indicated they had dopamine levels five times of what is expected during sexual climax. Subjects express impairment similar to the effects of heroin. Subjects become willing to comply with any request SCP-230 makes provided it does not involve leaving SCP-230's presence. Compound beep is present in all of SCP-230's bodily fluids. Exposure is possible even by contact with SCP-230's skin. Exposure to the compound will result in immediate addiction. Withdrawal symptoms are extreme and have a 30% mortality rate. Symptoms include loss of appetite, tremors, panic, vomiting, diarrhea, irritability, dementia, insanity, blindness, and hemorrhaging. Though symptoms vary from subject to subject, symptoms typically last for around two weeks before subsiding. The symptoms appear to determine how much of compound beep the subject is exposed to. The subject had ingest any of SCP-230's bodily fluid, saliva, blood, etc., have a mortality rate from withdrawal of 100%. SCP-230 was found in an apartment in Beep with 20 people acting as servants. SCP-230 seemed to be actively attempting to limit the number of people he exposed. Several bodies of exposed persons were found on the premises. When questioned about them, SCP-230 replied, Things are getting crowded, so I had to ask a few of them to stop breathing.
SCP-230 appears to be under the effects of compound beep, but doesn't seem to be impaired by it by any way. But doesn't seem to be impaired by it in any way. Attempts to alter SCP-230's mood have proven ineffective. Use of various drugs known to cause depression only resulted in SCP-230 producing more of compound beep and thus were ineffective. SCP-230 is a very friendly individual and will candidly engage in conversation with any personnel. SCP-230 is unaware of how or when he began secreting compound beep. When questioned about his past, SCP-230 replied that he had been secreting compound beep as long as he can remember. SCP-230 prefers to talk about things he considers good or gay. SCP-230 has some psychological attachment to the word gay. When asked to describe himself, SCP-230 used the word gay six times, gaiety four times, and the word gayest once when SCP-230 referred to himself as the gayest man alive. Note by Dr. Beep. SCP-230's preoccupation with the word gay has nothing to do with sexual orientation. SCP-230 doesn't appear to have a sexual orientation due to a lack of interest in sex entirely. This makes sense, seeing us SCP-230 experiences the same amount of pleasure doing any given activity, making sex unnecessary. Addendum 231 Class 2 personality researcher Beep was accidentally exposed to compound Beep during research. Beep was detained and sent to treatment for the duration of withdrawal symptoms. After one month, Beep was released after being cleared by medical staff. Two months later, Beep was found trying to break into SCP-230's containment area. Beep reacted violently and injured several personnel before she was detained. Beep was terminated after examination and precautions had been made to prevent further occurrence. See document 230. 4436B. Document 230-4436B. Data expunged. Item number SCP-359. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-359 is to be contained within a 30 meter by 30 meter by 30 meter concrete structure. The structure is not to be entered between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. local standard time. Any monitoring of SCP-359 during these hours is to be done via security cameras installed within the structure. SCP-359 is to be fed one adult pig every other day. Acceptable substitutions to this diet must be cleared with Agent Beep and Dr. Beep. All remnants of SCP-359's prey are to be completely cleaned out of the containment structure by 8.45 p.m. the following day. Description SCP-359 appears to be a metal sculpture of a red-tailed hawk, with a wingspan approximately 4.3 meters, perched atop a 12-meter rock. During daylight hours, approximately 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. local standard time, it displays no signs of movement and does not respond to any external stimuli. However, it has been determined by the Foundation that between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., it displays the typical behaviors of an adult red-tailed hawk, apart from being nocturnal. SCP-359 is apparently capable of flight. The mechanisms through which it accomplishes this has not been determined, as its wings are too short to allow for flight. SCP-359 was originally located just south of Beep in the United States. It first came to the Foundation's attention when local foresters began finding dead bodies of white-tailed deer in the area with in a one kilometer radius of the sculpture, which looked to have been preyed upon. The white tailed deer has no natural predators in the state of Beep. Investigation officially began on data expunge when motorists on the stretch of State Wood Beep that passes by SCP 359 reported that the hawk was not on top of the ark. On the same day, a local farmer reported finding the sculpture in his field, standing over the body of one of his cows. 
which had injuries consistent with predation by a large bird of prey. The farmer was administered a Class A amnestic, and read the story that the cow had died of natural causes, and its body eaten by coyotes. Root beep was closed for repairs, and SCP-359 was transferred to its current containment site, in place of an immobile replica. Addendum 1. Prior to containment, no evidence existed that SCP-359 has ever attempted to prey on anything besides hooved mammals. However, since being contained, it has attacked, killed, and eaten four D-class personnel who entered its containment structure during restricted hours. Investigation into cause of this shift in dietary preferences is ongoing.